Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today we'll be doing the new Trihack Me Room that is WordPress CVE 2021 29447. So let's start off with the end map. So let me grab the IP. We have the IP here. We, is, we, are, we are gonna use the Rust scan. Uh, let's simply replace the IP and save it as Rust scan full text file. Enter. And we have few ports open 22 for SSS, 80 is for HTTP web server, 3306 is for MySQL. So uh, this uh, room is kind of a walkthrough room. So uh, let me grab this over here. Yeah, perfect. So it's a walkthrough room, but there are some things that a beginner will not be able to understand. So that's why I'm making this walkthrough. So the first thing we have is to browse uh, uh, to the WP admin page and login to the WordPress. So we are gonna do that right now. Alright, so the IP was okay. Am I connected to the VPN? Oops. Oh, I am okay. Alright, so let's browse to the admin page that is wp admin.php, I guess. Oh no, sorry, it's wp login. All that so test dash carp and the password is test. So let it load. So here the next step we have is to uh, create a malicious uh, WAV file that is a web file. Uh, so here is the thing. You can enter this command and uh, our dot WAV file will be created then we can upload this file and we can get the um, code execution some sort of arbitrary file inclusion right so let's go to media add new All right so first off uh, we need to create a dot wav file here as you can see we are using the echo dash en so let's first of know what is the use of dash en all right so we are gonna uh, do manual echo and so this is the echo commands manual every every command is listed here right so uh, but we need to know about the dash n and dash e flag so let's first of know about dash n uh, you need to uh, okay so dash n is uh, used for not outputting the trailing new names for so that uh, the, uh, a new line is not created second one we have is oops sorry yeah, second one we have is dash e and that is used for the interpretation of backslash escapes so backslash escape is th these things so it will interpret the backslash this is actually a uh, hex code so if you copy this and go to cyberchef you can actually decode it from hex uh, you can type here hex and from hex yep. so it will display uh, three dots so it's a this one is not a dot i guess it's a comma and these two are dots so if you copy all of this and you paste it here and you'll see that we have comma three dots and something and a curly brace and again three dots right so this is how uh, this is actually magic bytes if you don't know what is magic bytes then let me show you just a second i'm gonna go to magic bytes uh w a v file okay. so let's just watch w a v file uh, yep here we have the dot w a v so uh, these are the headers and uh, wait let's first off uh, create this file i'm going to show you something all right so uh, we have this file created now uh, if we get out the contents of this file we'll see riffwave dot i xml and a curly brace and the normal text that is a payload so how did this come right 
how did this appear so it was actually here in the code riff then some hex code that got interpreted because of dash e flag and rest of also got decoded due to dash e flag and way by xml was here already all right so if we see the uh, if we convert it to hex uh, we can uh, view it in hex by this x x x d and you will see this so r i f f is 52 49 46 46 how do i show you uh, yeah so let me copy this you go to cyber chef uh, or hit the cyber chef yeah so it says waveform audio file detected all right now if you convert it to hex like to a hex and delimiter will be i guess a space only yeah so so these are the numbers that are uh, that are displayed in the hex digest that we just created so 52 49 starting with the 52 49 46 ending with the 44 c that's that is what you see here 52 49 46 46 and ends with the 44 c right so this is actually a header that defines what file type it is so uh, there is uh, so every header is different for every file type like for, uh, if you are using a png file if you create a hex digest of it then it will be different for the png file if you create a hex digest of dot jpg then it will be different for the dot jpg file all right i hope that uh, makes sense all right so moving on i am also not too much familiar with this uh, but uh, this is what i understand after researching for a couple of hours yes so two to three hours yeah so mm, we have this file created here payload.wav all right now uh oh sorry i forgot to change this let's make make it again go dash in and 10.17.2 this is my Tano IP displayed right here in the port we want to specify 1234 and we also need a dot DTD file uh, yeah that's it this is what did they say mm, enable we need to create a DTD file so what is a DTD file so DTD file is a mm, text file that is specified the elements and attributes used in xml so you, you can say that it's, it's an xml file kind of kind of xml file mm. so we will create a tech m dot dtd file all right so this is okay and we have our file created all right now let's create uh, uh, what was it i get dot yes let's create dot dtd file and we're gonna paste all of this in the file so gedit tech m dot dtd <coughs> replace your server with the ip 0.1.253 and port 1.234 so here let me clarify some things if you do not know what is xml external entities so uh, you see this uh, percent file here right it's a sort of a variable you can say that it's a variable so in variable this file name is a store that is etc password right so what is happening here is uh, php this is a php filter uh, named as zlib.deflate so what uh, zlib.deflate does is it, it compresses the contents of the file all right so it is compressing also it is converting the contents of file to base 64 right you see base 64 encode convert base 64 encode so it's converting to the base 64 and what is it converting it's converting the etsy password file all right now uh, when this file is con uh, file has converted and compressed using php you see that it will be stored in the percent file variable right and this percent file variable is being fetched by our web server so the server the wordpress server our target server the one we are attacking will fetch our server and it will look for 
this file so if we host our own php server we can catch that request the thing that is stored in the percent file variable we will be able to fetch it because it's uh, because the server will request that encrypted stuff that encrypted text all right that is stored in the percent file so let's save it and let's see it practically so we are going to launch our php server here one two three four on port one two three four and uh, we're going to upload the file it is payload dot wab wordpress payload yeah we upload it and we instantly get our response back so you see the server made a request and we copy this so that stuff is encrypted using uh, zlib.deflate so we have to decrypt it with the zlib decode all right and then base64 decode so first off it's encoding the base64 then it is compressed using php filter zlib all right so that is why we need uh, php here <coughs> to decode the stuff so let's move to our directory and make a new file named as decode.php paste it in paste the basic base this encrypted stuff and save this file <coughs> let's uh, launch that let's execute the php file and you see we have the and we have the decoded etsy password file right here right so you can see we have a user stocks here and all right so the next part of this machine is to is to read the wordpress configuration file that is wp-config file so by default the wp-config file is located uh, in a war www.html folder i guess so let's try it so gedit tagm.ddd and let's edit it to var www.html then wp-config.php save it launch the PSP server upload the file again and we should see a response back and there we have it so let's copy this yeah, okay let's paste, paste it in the decode php file we paste it in we execute the php file and we get the decoded file all right so here we have some things that is we have the data database name the user and the password so the interesting thing here is the user and the password of mysql so how do we know that uh, we are using mysql so if you remember uh, when we uh, decoded that uh, oh no yeah so if you remember when we decoded that uh, etsy password file there was a user named mysql so from there we know that uh, mysql is installed on this machine also from the nmap scan also from the nmap scan oops uh, rust scan i guess yeah so here you can see mysql 5.7.33 so let's connect to the mysql server now uh, dash h is for host that is we need to enter the ip so the ip here is this dash u is for user and then dash p is for prompt the password the password is yeah here we have the password all right paste it in and press enter and we are in all right so let's see what databases we have here show databases we have wordpress db2 so let's get into this database show tables we have 
this number of tables the interesting one is the users one so we say sh uh, select all from this table name oops okay so we have our user corp01 that is uh, and we have the hashed password here and we are currently test dash corp user and this is our stuff so we have to decode this encrypted password so what file what type of uh, password is it it's a dollar p dollar so let's go to hashcat website and look for this so i do control f and type dollar p dollar and here we have the example hash and that is of wordpress md5 right and the mode here you to use is 400 so i'll instead uh, of hashcat i'll use john john the ripper so let's create a file named hash.txt paste the hash here use john and the user word let's rock you and this is no boss uh, oh so i've already stopped this machine so that's why i have to use the dash dash show i guess nope hmm that's odd i do not know how to show the previously correct password so i guess i have to go to the hidden folder john then let's see the log file and we do have uh, mm, i don't think we have anything here let's see the other file this is john.pot uh, all right so we have our correct password here that was teddy bear all right so let's copy this and go back to the directory yeah so here we have the username so let's log in to this user from wordpress scorp dash user one teddy bear enter it's taking its time and we are in all right so let's see what plugins are installed so we are looking for a way to get a reverse shell here and we have three plugins installed so let's edit plugin i guess plugin editor and we'll go to the index.php page we'll edit this one with our php reverse shell right so let's copy this paste paste it in here yeah everything looks right update file launch a let netcat listener yeah so uh, it has been saved all right so we go to wp dash content then plugins and the plugin name is this let's copy this path we should have a reverse shell back and we do have let's get a tty shell we have python 3 installed python 3 dash e is standard one the one we always do uh oh import pty pty dot spawn and then bash now to create the screen we'll do export from equals to x term so clear all right now let's go to home folder and stocks and the flag folder and here we have our flag so i hope this walkthrough did help you in case it didn't then i'm sorry <laughs> but thank you for watching have a nice day